What's going on, you guys? Pastor Hassan from Christ is Enough Ministries. Hope you guys are doing well. Hopefully, um, your spirit filled on this day that the Lord has made. Uh, listen, a quick, quick update here about um, my own personal life and um, some of the things I've been undergoing lately, but also the mission trip to Lebanon. I wanted to keep you guys updated, and I'm really sorry if I haven't really uh, made um you know following video on the first video that said that i was supposed to go on a mission trip with uh, three other people and so i just wanted to let you guys um know and keep you informed about the fact that uh, the trip got cancelled out um predominantly because i was asking as you guys may have watched and heard me also mention in the first video i was um I was trying to raise eight thousand uh, dollars to fly out to lebanon and so that didn't happen unfortunately the threshold was eight thousand dollars just enough to get us um, all four of us um, uh, in lebanon uh, and so we were able to after the donations and after you know the financial support we were able to raise only fifteen hundred dollars out of the eight thousand dollars and so that's not a big issue because uh god is good um and because uh, even though uh, the enemy was probably working god still used it for a blessing god turns the evil into a blessing so i'm not really sure whether it was a devil or whether it was god trying to tell us that we shouldn't go but either or all things work all together for good uh, for those who love god and are called according to his purpose and so i know that god has a plan for us and the plan to go to lebanon obviously got called off um because of many uh, uh roadblocks that the enemy was uh placing on our path and i don't want to give the credit to the devil right i don't want to give him any leeway or any foothold i don't want to say that he did that because ultimately that still falls under the perfect will of god which is um you know for us to not go to lebanon and so you know god might call a mission trip somewhere else eventually maybe in the near future next winter or um the upcoming summer uh, who knows right i mean anything is possible with god god is a god of the impossible but nonetheless um i just wanted to swing by here and let you guys know that uh, the trip got canceled out a lot of you guys have prayed because you felt like because of the political instability and um, the fact that uh, lebanon was on the verge of getting into a conflict with israel that it wasn't so much of a good idea for us to go down there and uh especially you know um in the southern hemisphere because uh, that's a radical um shia muslim area that is kind of dangerous um and so you know sometimes you have to count the cost as well and just figure is this the best time for us to go there uh, that wasn't an issue at the beginning for us because the lord had dawned on my heart uh, to go but um, because God did not allow it then I figured well God doesn't want us there at the moment but anything is uh, possible in the future and so it is up to God to send us it is God that calls it is God that sends and we got to trust God uh, with everything that we have right and so God is always in control he dominates our lives he reigns and rules over everything that we do and say and so I have the utmost trust in the lord that god will do something in in you in a near future now um in terms of what was donated to us um we were able to raise fifteen hundred dollars out of the eight thousand dollars so um that is why it was uh, kind of impossible for us to go to lebanon uh, because the threshold was eight thousand dollars just enough to get us uh, four tickets for all four of us to fly out and so we don't have nearly as much as half of that amount um right now and so we decided to uh postpone the trip um now we're gonna keep the money for uh next time hopefully and i just wanted to you know come up here and just thank you guys for giving um generously thank you for extending yourself towards this ministry a lot of you guys find value in this ministry and you've um, always been edified and encouraged um, 
by the videos that I've released uh, from our street evangelism videos to um, our um, apologetical videos against Islam. You guys have always been uh, encouraging us. And so thank you for the comments uh, that we read and um, are blessed by. Thank you for every single one of you. Uh, I bless you and bless your family in the name of Jesus. You guys are a tremendous support for our channel. We don't deserve you, quite honestly. And um, the glory goes to God for your life and for the lives of um, your loved ones. Uh, that being said, I also want to thank um, every person that has donated, every person that has prayed, every person that has uh, shared uh, or liked our videos. Right, You guys are important. You're an important asset for this ministry and its growth. This ministry is reaching thousands of people around the world. I mean, the amount of reach, this is... Uh, you know doing is just insane it's through the roof and who would have thought i mean looking back never in a million years um, that i think that this was going to impact people's lives the way um, it does um but uh lately as i mentioned i really needed a time of recovery uh when you're a frontliner when you're a soldier um in the army of god you get attacked a lot and so pastors and um evangelists especially those that are in the leadership uh, structure of a church they're the ones that get attacked the most a spiritual warfare is real for those that are skeptical because we know that the time is short the lord is coming back soon and so the enemy is trying to you know attack uh, the children of god as much as he can but uh, i don't give the enemy any credit i give the credit to the lord and i know that we are more than conquerors in jesus christ our lord we have victory uh, through the blood of the lamb and so we keep fighting we keep resisting we keep um, submitting to god in all areas of our lives right and god will take care of us that being said i just needed some time uh, on the mountain of the lord lately so that's why i haven't been posting as much as i uh, would want to because sometimes when God speaks and tells you, hey, you got to withdraw yourself from ministry, well, you got to do it, right? You got to obey and really make sure that um, you submit to God's will. And so that was God's will for me lately to just, you know, recollect myself in the Lord um, and, and just to hear furthermore some things in my life, right? And for my ministry. Uh, from God and so that was a time that was much needed. So I'm really sorry for those that haven't really had um, a chance to uh, watch any evangelism videos lately, but hopefully that'll you know um, That'll happen uh, soon uh, And I'll start posting again and again. All right, so for now, I just want to leave you with this I hope you guys are having a beautiful blessed time in the Lord, whatever you are, whoever you are um, we love you in Jesus name and we just bestow the blessings and the peace and the grace of God upon you and yours. Uh, may the Lord comfort you in your situation. Uh, may, you, may God comfort you in your struggles. May God comfort you uh, in everything that you face and um, may your hope and your faith be in the Lord alone and no one else. Right. And uh, that's all I have to say. God bless you. And I guess I'll see you soon.